Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me and my family from three years ago when we went all into Bitcoin. We sold our houses, we sold our companies, we sold our cars, we sold everything we owned, went all in Bitcoin and started to travel the world. Now, three years later, still traveling the world, coming to you from this beautiful piece of nature in Venlo, our hometown, where we are visiting our family and friends. In today's video, we are going to talk Bitcoin a lot. I'm going to show you these charts where we can see which price targets we are going for with Bitcoin and which reasons there are that we are going to go for these price targets. We are going to look into the Bitfinex hacks because these stolen Bitcoins started to move again. Make sure you watch that part of the Bitfinex hack because you can win a free t-shirt if you guess the right amount. And we will talk a little bit about this former Greek financial prime minister that thinks money cannot be replaced by Bitcoin. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you watch the complete video so you can win this free t-shirt I'm giving away if you guess the correct answer. Enjoy the video, guys. Welcome to this beautiful part again here in the nature of Venlo, my hometown, which I'm visiting for two weeks with my family and friends to visit family and friends. Are you all happy with the Bitcoin price around 11,000 US dollar? And yes, are you all asking yourselves now, what is Bitcoin going to do next? Like I already said in yesterday's video and the video before, I think Bitcoin will go up a little bit more. This doesn't mean that Bitcoin is not first going to correct a little bit lower. So let's take a look at the charts of Bitcoin today. Let's start with this chart, bam, that one. On this chart, you can see guys that the Bitcoin support zone is between 10,000 and 10,500 now. We need to keep 10,500 as a support to stay bullish. Like I said in my video yesterday, we are aiming for the next levels of Fibonacci retracement, which is 11,500, then the next level is at 13,500, and then the next level is around 16,000. So these are our targets, but then we need to keep the support around 10,000 till 10,500 US dollar. If we would break this support of 10,500 and we even go below 10K, guys, then we can still go lower. I don't believe this, I don't think so, I think we have too many positive signals at the moment, but it's still possible, everything is possible in crypto. So in the short term guys, this 10,500 level is very important as we have been fighting to break this level for multiple years. So now it's very important we hold this level as support. So yes, we can fall back to 10.5, but please give a bounce back then again to 11. And let's go up from here and create a huge support level of 10,500. If we take a look at another chart, we can see a really cool buy signal that only has flashed two times before on the day chart. So let's take this day chart, this one, bam. This is a day chart, every candle is a day. On this day chart, you can see two moments before that we had this turquoise pinkish candle. This turquoise pinkish candle was the start of this insane parabolic run. The first time we saw this pinkish candle was in 2017, late 2017, just before the parabolic run of Bitcoin to 20k. The second time we saw this pinkish candle was 2019, just before the run from 4000 to 14k. Now today, this pinkish candle, I don't know if it's called pinkish, it looks pinkish to me, this pinkish candle is flashing again, which is indicating we will see another parabolic run, as we have only seen this candle flash two times before, and both of the times we saw insane runs. So I think we are going to see this insane run again, and probably to the area of 16 to 18,000 US dollar. And I will explain later why I think 16 to 18,000 US dollar. There is another really cool chart that is supporting the same thing. This one, 
pop. This chart also referred to the CM Super Guppy. This is a weak chart. So we are zooming out from the day chart now into this weak chart. In this weak chart, we can see these green areas. We have only seen these green areas three times before. And every time we saw this indicator flash green, we saw a huge run up. Super Guppy run up. The first time we saw this uh, indicator flashing green was in the late 2012 when we had a run from a few bucks till 1000 US dollar Bitcoin. The second time we saw this indicator turn green was in late 2015 just before the insane bull run from like a few hundred bucks to 20,000 US dollar at the end of 2017. That was the second time we saw this indicator flashing green. The third time this indicator was flashing green, you can already guess it, it was in 2019 when we saw the run up from 4k to 14k. So also this macro indicator, this is on a weekly chart, is signaling us we are going to go up from here. So I don't think it's a bad moment to buy Bitcoin around 10,500 US dollar if we might retest this area. I think at the moment we as a family are almost all in i think it's like about two percent or three percent that we still have in us dollar tether the rest is all in bitcoin litecoin ethereum chain link and some other smaller cryptocurrencies at the beginning of this week i think i added algo and as an x to my portfolio so i'm taking some small profits in a couple of weeks there i think because i think they will go up from here so I mentioned before the price 16 to 18,000 US dollar. I'm going to try to show you why I think this price is the area we are going to going for. I'm going to show you with a chart why I think we are going to head for this area. <coughs> so these two macro indicators, not just one day chart indicator and this one week chart indicator, both this day chart and this week chart are telling me that we are going to go up from here. I like these indicators. I've been following these indicators already for months, like you can see in my last couple of videos, like you can see in all the videos I posted already about them, Puel indicator, all these macro indicators that were signaling us that we will that we were seeing the start of the bull run. These indicators are very important for me as an investor. Sometimes I buy some cryptocurrencies like SNX and Algo this week, but that's also for me like I'm buying them now. I'm not going to watch them daily. I will wait a week or two, three, four, and then when they go up, I sell them with some profit. And of this profit, I pay my tickets probably to fly to another beautiful area in the world. But if we take a look at this chart, pop, this chart was posted by Jack Sparrow. Yes, I refer to Jack Sparrow many times because I like the way he is making his charts. This chart is showing you why the target is between 16 and 18K Bitcoin price in the next couple of weeks. Because if we analyze this chart, we can see that we are in the Elliott wave and the ABC wave, and we are now in the part of the C wave. And in this C wave, we have a one, two, three, four, five. And we are now in this fifth part of the C wave, which means that is the most explosive part of the wave. If we would follow this Elliott wave pattern, we would see a price between 16,000 and 18,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. If you look to the chart, you can see that we have been following this pattern now for a couple of months. So I think we will continue this pattern. I think that Bitcoin Jack Sparrow is correct. I think that we will see this fifth wave and we will see this push to 16 till 18,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in the next couple of weeks, months, before the end of 2020. Let's call it like this. And not only I am thinking this, if you look at the news, many people, many traders are expecting Bitcoin to even go above 20,000 US dollar uh, before the end of this year. If you look at my tweet, I tweeted, I did a poll. What do you expect? Which price? Like 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 33,000. The largest amount of people is expecting 33,000 US dollar Bitcoin before the end of 2020. So it is exciting times now ahead of us, guys. I think we can see a small parabolic run the next couple of weeks, but in my opinion, the biggest part of the huge bull run will be at the end of 2021. I think we will 
will see a 100k US dollar price before the end of 2021. How cool is this that if you huddle one Bitcoin, maybe before the end of 2021, this one is worth 100,000 US dollar. I know somebody else who will be very happy if Bitcoin goes to the price of 100,000 US dollar. These are the guys that hacked Bitfinex back there in 2016. Because during this hack, they stole around 120,000 Bitcoins. At that moment of time, these Bitcoins were worth about, I think, 70 million US dollar. Now, today, these Bitcoins are worth 1.3 billion US dollar. Can you imagine how much these Bitcoin will be worth when Bitcoin goes to 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin? These hackers understood the fundamentals of Bitcoin. Huddle, huddle, huddle. If you just huddle, the price will increase. And that is probably why they just moved one to 2% of the Bitcoins since 2016. Bitcoin started to move again the last couple of days. So they were transacting a few million dollar worth of Bitcoin to different addresses. But the biggest part is still in their huddle capital. So these hackers will huddle, I think, till Bitcoin gets to 100K. And if they release it then to the market, you do the calculations. How much will their Bitcoins be worth when Bitcoin goes to 100,000 US dollar? The one that is going to give the correct answer to this question, I'm going to send you a free Bitcoin t-shirt. You can decide which one you want on our website, uh, but you will receive it for free. So the question is, these hackers stole 119,756 Bitcoins. If Bitcoin is going to be worth 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin, how much that these hackers make. The first one with the correct answer in the comments will get a free t-shirt. You can choose yourself which one you want on our website, thebitcoinfamily.com. When Bitcoin touched 11,400 guys, and at that point, 95% of the Bitcoin supply was in profit. So this means nobody is going to sell because now 95% of the Bitcoins that are held in wallets is in profit. There is no reason for these people to sell. This is why this huge support zone around 10,000, 10,500 is being formed because nobody needs to sell. We are almost all in profit. It's just another 5% of the people that are not in profit. But when Bitcoin goes to 16K or maybe 20K, I think even these people, again, will be in profit. And then there is one more small news about the former Greek Prime Minister of Finance. He is stating Bitcoin can never replace money. He doesn't trust Bitcoin. So I am thinking now, so we are talking about the former Prime Minister of Finance in Greece that was responsible for the huge crisis in 2013, 2015, who wasn't able to pay the 1.6 billion US dollar to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and this guy is now telling us that Bitcoin cannot be money. I don't know about this, guys, but, you know, you were responsible for a loss of 1.6 billion US dollar for your whole country. You created a huge financial crisis because you trusted money. And now you don't think that the nev next step in evolution of money will save us from this. And one of the reasons he stated was, yeah, you know, if we get another financial crisis and Bitcoin would be the money, who is going to print all the money to save all these companies and all these people. I think he still doesn't understand that we must not solve problems, but we must tackle the cause. And the cause of all these crises is our monetary system. And when Bitcoin replaces this monetary system with other cryptocurrencies, we won't have a cause for this crisis anymore because we are not printing money. This guy is really crazy. So he is saying now that because we can print money, we can save the world. Because you started to print money, you crashed the whole system and now you need to print more money to save the world. So you printed money in that amount that you created a huge financial crisis crash because we have a debt bubble and now we need to print even more money to save us. This is exactly why Bitcoin and blockchain and other cryptocurrencies are around to set this straight. Do not have to print anymore in the future because we're building a new monetary system that is trustable. But then again, who am I? I am just a Bitcoin 
crypto blockchain maximalist walking through the streets i'm not a prime minister i've never been a prime minister and i don't have a goal in life to become a prime minister guys i hope you enjoyed this video today if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up share it with your community subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell please remember you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life you need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living see you tomorrow again bye Thank you.